Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing about multi-cycle path. So, what is it? A multi-cycle path is like a section of dipole signal cycle timing path which requires more than one clock cycle to propagate the data from starting point to any point. Let's understand this with the help of an example. First, we have to understand what is default setup and hold checks. So as we are uh, watching in this slide, there are two flops are given to us with a single clock in that. What is happening here? The first one is the launch flop from where uh, the clock is going. The launch flop is uh, launching the data by a combinational uh, circuit to the capture flop, which is capturing the data. So uh, in this circuit, we will ignore some clock uncertainties and issues between the two flops. And let's see the uh, like waveform of this. As we know, the same clock is going through the launch and capture flip-flop. They are looking the same. If we are assuming the frequency to be one gigahertz, the time period would be one nanosecond. In this, like uh, let's first understand what is setup timing check. When data is launched by the clock, setup timing should be checked on a capture flop for example we always take like the shortest uh, data the shortest window we always take for example if the data is launched on this zeroth uh, zeroth edge then it will be captured at this point and the and in the whole time it is checked on the same edge that is why it is called as frequency independent. Let's see this. Let's uh, take the example. If both the flip-flops have the different clocks, what will we do in that case? Let's assume like uh, the capture, the launch flip-flop uh, having the clock slow and the capture flip-flop having the clock fast. What will happen in that case? As you can see, uh, this is uh, traveling with uh, much faster, like its time period is one and the launch time period is three. So where we will check the setup time and hold time. So there can be three cases in that. Uh, maybe we are launching the data at zero and it will be captured at one. Maybe it can be captured at two and maybe it captured at three. So what we will choose now, we will choose the shortest window. So what is the shortest path here? It is from zero to one. So we will consider that. And uh, where we'll check the whole time, it would be checked on the same edge here only. And this is the reverse case. Uh, like if the uh, launch flop is fast and the capture flip flop is slow, what will we do in that case? As you can see in that captured uh, flip flop has time period of three nanoseconds and launch will flow at the time period of one nanosecond. We will be check the setup time and hold time. In that case, as I've told you before, we will check the shortest path. So uh, maybe we can take it from zero to three, one to three, or two to three. But what we will do, we will take the shortest path. So it would be like from two to three. And, and the whole path will be checked on this only, the same match. Uh, now let us uh, uh, see uh, what will happen. Like sometimes we will like come across like how to set the multi-cycle paths. So for that, we came across some functions for that. Like the function is set multi-cycle path, set a four from flip-flop one of, like we will choose from which uh, like we can set to flip-flop four, flip-flop one as our convenience. So. For whole check, we will uh, set the time as n minus one. If like our if our setup time is four, then we will set the whole time as n minus one, so that there will not be any clash between the two. So that's it. Thank you.